uh, what is the difference between uh, the AquaCreer uh, uh, product line that you're currently developing and, and with, with your system and the other hydrogen uh, generators, uh, treatment generators on the, on the market? I partially answered it in that it's, it, gener it does not pure hydrogen. Pure mm -hmm. hydrogen is good. Mm -hmm. And if people have a pure hydrogen machine, by all means, use it. You're getting your money's worth. Mm -hmm. But if you want the maximum therapeutic value, then you also add the uh, electrically expanded water. You, you get a, a generator or an electrolyzer which uh, that is called, uh, that, that generates the hydroxy. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, another difference with my machines over most of them out there, including ones that you can buy for $10,000, and unfortunately, there's ones that are even scams that are selling for $10,000. <laughs> unfortunate. Wow. It's, it's what happens. You know, you get a new technology, there's a, and it looks like it's going to make money. People jump in just in that window money. of time. Yeah. So in any case, I, one of the main differences of my technology is that I design for safety. Safety okay. first. Okay. I do not want to have a Hindenburg or Challenger <laughs> because both of those were hydrogen explosions. Okay, yes. the Hindenburg wasn't an explosion, it was a burn, but nevertheless, it got a lot of publicity and it, it pretty much stopped the airship industry in its tracks. Germany yeah. lost everything yeah. then. And then the next thing was the uh, Challenger. It pretty much stopped the United States space industry. I mean, they're sending up astronauts with, uh, from other countries, using the US astronauts or using other countries to get back to the space station and stuff because mm -hmm. they, uh, they, they, they stopped the, uh, the, the, their sp own space program. Now, yeah. the, gradually getting it started again and stuff. But the, for a while there, it was something because uh, the Challenger, it was a hydrogen oxygen explosion mm -hmm. that blew that up. And so I don't want to have ever anyone hurt with this technology. If it's in my power to do so, I want it to heal only. And therefore I design the world's safest machines, not only the safest, but the most therapeutic, not only because of the most therapeutic gas, but because it has the, it supports all the different protocols, the best of anything that's out there. Yeah. So currently there's four protocols. You can drink the water that's mm -hmm. in hand. Mm -hmm. You can inhale the gas. Yeah. You can use the water on your skin, like the, the guy did with topically, the Topically, yeah. Topically. By the way, that's been, uh, and that's with rashes and age spots and all kinds of things on the skin. Wow. And, and then you can use the gas on your skin, which is the people that are um, like bag and arm. And I have videos online where, it's showing like carpal tunnel syndrome yeah. where they have inflammation of the tendon sheath. Yeah. The hydrogen goes right through the skin and takes care of that inflammation. In 10 minutes, it's gone. That is Nobody amazing. Carpal tunnel syndrome. And it doesn't come back mm -hmm. unless the people continue doing whatever it was <laughs> that caused it in the first place. Then eventually it comes back. It doesn't immediately come back. Mm -hmm. But you're completely healed the, uh, the uh, carpal tunnel syndrome in 10 minutes. It's, it's completely mitigated. So that, that gives ideas of the various things that can be done with the gas. Now, I will say that when you inhale and when you drink, your body decides what it's going to do with the gas. Yeah. If you want to uh, treat a particular place on your body, like a knee or an elbow or, or whatever, then you apply it topically because mm -hmm. then you are deciding where the gas goes.